Now, the goal of the campaign was to capture a library of images that really represented the Western lifestyle. I think one of the great things when the right client finds the right photographer is that their visions align. It was a real great match of what happened with the Wrangler creative team and with my natural shooting style, the way I love to shoot. From shooting cowboys, I love the idea, and I love that rough and rugged look, and so that's something that we're looking for. But then also, we're looking for real dreamy, soft, more expansive feels to some of the lifestyle imagery. Our team is relatively small, given the ambitious nature of this shoot, having to shoot over about 13 scenes in a day with you know unique locations for a lot of these, different lighting setups and such. So I had a first assistant, Dylan Brown, a second assistant, and a digital tech and a producer. And then we had uh, three people from the creative team from Wrangler with us, and then a whole host of horses, cows, goats, cowboys, wranglers, and whatever else it was that was needed to keep the shoot rolling and such. Going into a shoot like this, uh, Tyler and I really just try and figure out what tools we need on scene. For this, it's, it was a very aggressive shot list. We knew we were gonna have to move from scene to scene really quickly. It was really important for me to know what my setups were gonna be ahead of time. One of the keys to this was being able to move quickly and efficiently, and that really means our lighting setups have to move quickly and efficiently. What it doesn't mean is that our lighting setups have to get sloppy. There's, you know, I, I didn't in any way want to compromise on the lighting quality. We're trying to shoot national level images you know, for an iconic American brand, and they've hired me to bring the heat. You know, I can compose and press the shutter pretty easily, but really the, the magic element is the lighting. That's what makes the shot. Anytime you're shooting a commercial campaign, what you're trying to do is to evoke an emotional response from your audience. In this case, really the campaign has a mix of dreaminess and edginess to it, as well as authentic ruggedness, because a lot of the Wrangler athletes who are shooting are world champion pro rodeo cowboys and cowgirls and performers. So they are you know, at the top of their game, it's the real thing, and they need to be represented as such. One of the things I love to do with my lighting style is to shoot at a relatively shallow depth of field, so maybe f4 or so, even with a long lens, and it takes the landscape into a little dreamier feel there. So usually if you're shooting in midday light, you can't do that without a neutral density filter, and that blocks down the light, it makes it harder to autofocus, and also you're just putting a big old gray filter in front of your crisp glass, so you're, you're dumbing down your image quality as well. But with these Ellen Chrome packs, I can be really creative, I can work really quickly, and I don't have to be limited you know, to use any type of filters. The greatest challenge on a shoot like this is being on location, um, sometimes loading an ATV and driving up a hill for half a mile. So I have to open my box up and say, okay, I need only two lights. The locations for the shoot, the majority of them were outdoors on working ranches. None of this was a studio shoot. None of this could we you know, pre-light even hours before. We were literally lighting the minutes before the shoot. So the Ellen Chrome, the ELB 400 packs were a huge help in the sense that they're small, they're light. You know, my team and I can fit four lighting packs and the whole kits with lighting stands into one roller case. But luckily for, for me with these Ellen lights, um, they were so small and so compact that I didn't have to sometimes say only one pack. Uh, many times I could say I want, I want two packs, I want three packs. So as I work with the Skyport HS, one of the big tools for me is that I can see the light power for each one of my lights on the LCD panel on top of the Skyport. So before we got these packs, I, I would uh, have to go from station to station and make sure it was totally dialed. And, and now I can, I can set it up, go grab the tablet and be reviewing the images while Tyler's shooting. And if the sun pops out and all of a sudden the scene changes by two stops, I can go over to Tyler and, and tell him, hey man, we need, it. we need to bump it up. And he can use the Skyport HS and not even like lose a second, he just keeps on firing. I can see visually exactly what each light is doing and the relationship it has, you know, wherever it is in the scene. So it makes for very quick, not just, you know, workflow, but really it makes for creativity. 